And it basically goes to this question of, do you want to know the reality of the world or live in a delusional state? Think, I mean, literally the metaphor that the matrix is, and sorry if I'm spoiling this for anyone who's watching the show, but it's like 25 years old or something at this point. But the premise of the, of the matrix, right, is that you've got these people living in a simulation and then some of them choose to remove themselves from the simulation. And then they see the real world for what it is. And it's bleak and it's, it's ugly. It's not as pleasant and comfortable as the simulation. And it basically goes to this question of, do you want to know the reality of the world or live in a delusional state? And that's a reasonable question to ask. And certain, certainly some people would say, I'd rather live in the delusional state because it's more comfortable. But those of us in the ethical hacking world, we would rather be unplugged from the matrix because we want to look at something and we want to see like all the ways the system could fail. Like I can't help but walk into a grocery store or any store that sells like physical goods and say like, here's how someone would steal something. I'm not trying to steal it, but I can't help but look at it and be like, oh, here's the blind spots where cameras aren't looking. Or here's how by just carrying yourself a certain way, you might be able to walk out with something by wearing a vest, you know, whatever it is that you, you might do, like just thinking about these scenarios, but that's the way the mind thinks. And I think those of us in the ethical hacking community, we're all unplugged from the matrix and we see the world for what it is. And so I just think that, uh, I think that the matrix is such a powerful discussion of the hacker ethos.